Hello friends, this video on fractions part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have got a fair idea about what are fractions, where are these fractions located on the number line? Because when we look at the number line, we see the whole numbers from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. We also see the integers, that is the negative numbers are also there, positive numbers. So the integers are well placed on the number line. But what about the fractions? Do We don't see a fraction out here. So are the fractions hidden somewhere? Well, fractions are also present here. Fractions are also present in between these integers. Now, how do we locate these fractions? That is something which we are going to learn in this section. So let us take an example of a very simple fraction that is 1 by 3 and try to locate it on a number line. So what is the meaning of 1 by 3? It means 1 part out of 3 equal parts. So let's say this is the number line. So this is a magnified version of the number line. So I'm not showing the entire number line. Instead, I'm just so showing the central part of the number line a little magnified so that it becomes easier for us to understand. Now the technique that you need to follow to locate a fraction on a number line is observe the denominator. So focus on the denominator. So what is the denominator here? you have 1 by 3. So denominator is 3. So what do we do? We are going to divide each block into 3 equal parts. Each block means each section. That is each part between 2 integers like 0 to 1 is one block, 1 to 2 is another block, 2 to 3 is another block, 0 to minus 1 is one block, minus 1 to minus 2 is another block. So this each of these compartment is like one block. So we are going to divide this block into three equal parts because three is the denominator in this case. So let us try to divide it into three equal parts like one, two and three. So we have divided it into three equal parts. Perfect. Now, once I have divided this into three equal parts, what does that mean? How much is this portion? How much is this much? This is one part out of three equal parts because this is one, two, and 3. So these are the 3 equal parts and this is one part out of 3 equal parts. So basically this point is 1 by 3. So what would be this point when measured from 0? So this would actually be 2 parts out of 3 equal parts. So this would be 2 by 3. Similarly what would be this point? This would be nothing but 3 by 3 and 3 by 3 is nothing but 1. Similarly if, if you continue this marking even further. So this becomes 4 by 3, this becomes 5 by 3, this becomes 6 by 3, so 6 by 3 is nothing but 2. So this is how we are locating the fractions. Now the main concept here is you will have to observe the denominator. So once you have observed the denominator that means you want to locate one part out of three equal parts. So that means you need to divide something into three equal parts. So what is that something? That something is nothing but each block. So we divide each block into three equal parts and that is how we locate fractions. So let us take another example. So this time let us try to locate 10 by 8 on the number line. So let us look at the number line. This is how it is 10 by 8. So what is the denominator? Denominator is 8. So in 10 by 8, 8 is the denominator. So we are going to divide each block into 8 equal parts. So this is each block. So we divide into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this is how you have divided it into 8 equal parts. So this means this would be 1 by 8. This is 2 by 8, 3 by 8, 4 by 8, 5 by 8, 6 by 8. 7 by 8, this is 8 by 8, which is nothing but 1. Now, if you continue this further, you would get 9 by 8, 10 by 8, 11 by 8, 12 by 8, and so on. So, which is that fraction which we wanted to locate? We wanted to locate 10 by 8. So, 10 by 8 lies here. So, 10 by 8 is the fraction that lies somewhere between the integers 1 and 2. So in this fashion, we locate fractions on a number line. So just locate, find the denominator, divide each block into those many pa equal parts and then you start numbering. And that's how you find the required fraction on the number line. So let us try to represent a few more fractions on the number line. 
So let's take, for example, three by five. So how do you think that you will represent three by five? So as I always say, that focus on the denominator and the denominator here is five. That means we need to divide one block or one unit into five equal parts. So this is one unit. So we will divide it into one, two, three, four and five. So one, two, three, four, five, five equal parts. So this, the first part would be one by one by five because this is one part out of five equal parts. This would be two by five, this would be three by five, this would be four by five, this one is actually five by five and so on. So we had to locate three by five. So three by five is this point. Pretty simple, right? Let's take the next example, three by seven. So what is the denominator here? It's seven. So again, the same thing, but this time we will divide it into seven equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is one by seven, two by seven, three by seven, four by seven, five by seven, six by seven, and seven by seven. So where is three by seven? Three by seven is somewhere here. Let's take one last example. This is four by three. So the denominator is three. So we will divide each block into three equal parts like this. 4 by 3, so this is 1 by 3, 2 by 3, this is 3 by 3, this is 4 by 3, this is 5 by 3, so this is 4 by 3, so this is where 4 by 3 is located on the number line. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.